Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get these glittery gel nails using the Apris gel extensions. So let's get started. You're going to need a nail file, nail clippers, nail brush. You're also going to need a nail drill file and a LED light. I'm also going to use instant cuticle remover, an oil for my cuticles, um, a dehydrator, and a primer. I find that those last two are really, really important. You're also going to need a builder base, a top coat and a base coat and whatever gel polish you want to use to color your nails and you're also going to need the gel extensions now these are the refill packs that I got from Apris I already knew the size of my nails from just doing my nails for so long so I just bought the packs that I know my nails like the size of my nails which saves a lot of money I'm gonna start by putting the cuticle remover on my cuticles. You're gonna leave it on for 15 seconds and then um, push your cuticle back and then wash your hands. Um, I did want to start off by saying that I am not a nail technician by any means. I've just been doing my nails for a pretty long time and I feel like I've tried everything and this works for me. I have been doing this for a while using these A-press a -press, um, gel extensions and I love them and this is just how I do it but I am definitely not a professional um, but what I'm doing right now is I am cutting my cuticles um, just trimming them back I find that this really helps with the longevity of my nails if I don't do this they lift a lot so I know it looks kind of gross but it's necessary and then I'm gonna put a dehydrator on my nails also very important And I don't know if it's necessary, but I do a few coats of this just to really make sure that my nails are dehydrated. So I'm just going to get my nails out of these packages and I know what size my nails are just from doing my nails for so long. And if you don't know the size of your nails, you can just get the, like the pack that has every size you'll ever need um, but I just bought these four packs of the size of my nails and I'm just getting them out of the package putting them in order and then you will need to file the inside of these nails with this nail drill and this bit is actually a little too big so I did end up changing that out but you have to rough up the inside or they're not gonna stick very well once you put the builder base so this doesn't take too long, but I'm just roughing up the inside. And I'm also only doing the part of the nail that's going to lay on the nail bed. I'm not going to file the entire thing. But I'm just showing you the difference um, where I filed. It's very rough and you can see the tips are really shiny. Now I'm going to use my primer. The reason I roughed up the nails first is because this primer is a little sticky and I don't want to put the primer on and then rough up the nails and get powder on my nails. So I'm going to put this primer on and I really like this primer. Um, this is the first time I've ever used, well, this is the first primer I've ever used. I have used this one a few times and I do think it helps the nails stay on better. Next I'm going to use my builder base. I got this on Amazon. It's very inexpensive, I think like $6 and it works really well and I'm going to start coating the inside of the nail extension but only the area that I filed you don't need to add this to the entire nail just the area that like I said that I filed down and you don't want to apply a ton of this it took a while for me to figure out how much to put in the nail you can also put it on your nail bed and then put the extension on top but I find that this works best for me. And then I'm gonna press it down. And I'm going to hold it down with my other hand. This does take some practice because you don't wanna get any bubbles in the nail because then they're not gonna last as long. 
but I'm gonna hold it down with my right hand and I'm going to put it under the UV light. And what I like to do is I like to turn on the light first. That way I can just slide my hand under and it's on a timer. But I tend to keep it under the light for like 30 seconds just to get the nail to stick. And then I end up leaving it under there. Once I have the whole hand done, I'll leave it for like a minute and a half, two minutes. This LED UV nail lamp I got from eBay. I believe it was only like $10. It works really well. I've had it for years, so um, definitely got my money's worth out of it. I like to start putting the nails on my left hand and I apply three nails on my left hand. Then I switch over to my right and I do all five on my right hand and then I switch over to do the last two on my left. So here I'm putting on the final nail and I'm just gonna put it under the lamp for a little while and then I will leave my nails under there to make sure that they are completely cured. You want to make sure that you're not leaving them under there for just a little while and not curing them correctly. <laughs> I'm not gonna take any length off the nail with the nail file, but I am gonna rough up the top. That way the gel sticks really well to the nail. And I'm also going to just file the very tip of the nail because it is a little rough. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just rough up all the nails so that the gel sticks really well. Next I'm going to take my base coat and this is um, really inexpensive. I believe I like, got this on eBay. I'm almost out so I do need to repurchase this but I'm going to apply this to my nails and then put them under the UV lamp. I like to do four and then put them under the lamp. I like to <laughs> put my thumbs under the lamp separately because this lamp is a little small and I don't want to risk my thumb not curing. Next, I'm going to apply my gel polish. This is a really pretty glittery gel polish from Born Pretty. I got this on eBay. I think it was like $2.50. So inexpensive and so pretty. And I like that it doesn't have a color base, like it's only glitter. So I'm gonna apply two coats of this, which will still You'll still be able to see through the nail, and I like that. Um, I was going to just leave it at one coat, but then I wanted more glitter, so I applied two, and I did also put them under the lamp. And with two coats, you can still see through the tips of the nails, which I thought looked really pretty. You don't want to apply a super thick coat of gel, it's better to work in thin coats because I have done this before where I tried to apply a really thick coat um, to get a lot of color payoff and then it didn't cure and it would lift or peel and I didn't understand why. Then I realized I'm working in really thick coats. So it's better to work in layers than to just go in really heavy. And then I'm gonna apply a top coat on top of the, the glitter. This will make them really nice and shiny. And then I'm also going to put them under the lamp. And here are the nails, all glittery and pretty. 
but our hands have been through a lot so I'm gonna put some cuticle oil on my cuticles I really like this stuff it does help my cuticles stay hydrated um, and makes them look so much nicer 